Craig, I baptize you in the name of Jesus into the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Awesome. God bless you. Congratulations, man. Awesome. Coming out of the water was, I was very surprised at what I saw. Because I was just looking at the lights before I went in the water. But when I came out of the water, it was different. The lights in the church were different. They were brighter. They were, I, I can't describe it. They were just, it was a magnificent feeling. I wasn't really expecting to feel anything different, but what I remember is a, a feeling of, of joy and happiness and, and belonging, just so satisfying of a feeling. After you're baptized, it's, it's like you might think everything's going to change for your benefit, but really everything in life is it's the same for me. I've got a horse with stitches, I've got frozen water, I've got, um, I have to get water from the house with a tractor and drive it to the barn. I mean, just the daily grind has never been harder. We have horses, we've had horses for 20 years. Um, we've had um, my daughter's little gelding laid down and took a nap and never got up. Okay, we had to deal with that, and then I lost my job. Life itself just continues. There were no rainbows. There, I mean, everything else in the world is the same, but my attitude towards it is now different. One of the most noticeable or the most powerful things is that when something comes up, when, it, when a new problem comes up, somehow there's an inner peace. I think the baptism puts you in that frame of mind and it helps with everyday turmoil. It just gives you a way to peacefully resolve whatever comes up. This is a really tough deal right now. We're, we're struggling. I'm out of a job for three or four weeks and I'm having, it's, it's getting right down to the bottom of the bucket there as to how we're gonna pay the bills and now I know that God is in this with me. Before baptism, you're saved. You still have this old life that tags along, that keeps sneaking into your thoughts. And all these, these things that I see and I remember that would make me shudder that I did that. I was that person. But then I'm not that person. I've been baptized. I've been, I've been accepted willingly by Christ, and that changes everything. But it's the baptism that begins the journey that takes you out of it. You, you have this assurance, knowing that you are committed to Christ, but He is committed to you, and that all the haunting past is it's gone that's the end of it you have declared this that this is the new life the door is closed the past is the past there's doubts and fears in your mind but after baptism after being committed to christ you all of a sudden realize that there's there's not a fear there you have the power of god to overcome the obstacles of life and still remain obedient to Christ. And it also opens your mind and your heart and soul to want more. I obeyed God and was baptized, committed myself to Him. This is what I got. Now I want more because you can just, you feel so relieved and so overwhelmed by it. You just want more of it. So then you start reading the Bible. But what you've learned from the Bible, you can live in your life. 
And it all starts with baptism, that breaking through, that, that slamming the door, you're, and you just you want to live, to learn, and share God's Word with people. But then every, every day is something new. You learn something new. You feel some, some more power of God, and more freedom, true freedom. Not freedom to do what you want, but freedom to be that person that God wants you to be. Being saved and being baptized is only the beginning of our story. Our journey is constantly unfolding. I pray that people see the transformation in my life even after I get out of this chair. Because as God continues to work in me, I'll continue to share my story through the way I live. Thank you.